The Bartini Bari VVA-14 stands as one of the most unconventional and visionary aircraft concepts of the Cold War era. Conceived by Italian-born Soviet engineer Roberto Bartini, this amphibious machine was designed to patrol and neutralize submarine threats across expansive ocean zones. Its standout features included vertical takeoff and landing VTOL, capabilities, and the use of ground-effect flight for high-speed, low-altitude operations, an aerodynamic advantage allowing it to skim above the sea with remarkable efficiency. Despite its groundbreaking design and ambitious mission profile, the VVA-14 faced persistent engineering hurdles that ultimately halted its development. Only one prototype was ever completed, and today it rests in a Russian Air Force museum as a symbol of imaginative aerospace innovation. Though it never reached active service, the VVA-14 remains a bold reminder of an era when sky-high ambition pushed aviation to its outer limits. The Boeing B-377, Pregnant Guppy, is a standout example of aviation ingenuity, transforming the conventional into the extraordinary. Born from the Boeing 377 Stratocruiser, this aircraft was radically modified with an enormous, swollen fuselage to carry oversized and oddly shaped cargo most notably, components of NASA's space missions. Its unusual silhouette, which earned it the whimsical nickname, Pregnant Guppy, allowed it to haul what no other aircraft at the time could manage, redefining air freight logistics. Far more than a quirky design, the Pregnant Guppy proved a reliable and essential asset in advancing aerospace development. Pilots praised its dependable flight characteristics, while engineers admired the seamless integration of old-school aircraft engineering with bold, purpose-driven enhancements. It became a flying emblem of creative problem-solving, paving the way for future giants of the sky, like the Super Guppy and Beluga. Today, the Pregnant Guppy stands as a timeless testament to how vision and adaptation can lift aviation to new heights. The Caproni CA-60 remains one of the boldest and most bewildering aircraft ever built, an ambitious leap into uncharted aeronautical territory. Designed in 1921 by Italian aviation pioneer Johnny Caproni, this colossal triple triplane featured nine wings stacked in three sets and a boat-like fuselage, intended to carry up to 100 passengers across the Atlantic. Measuring 77 feet long and towering 30 feet high, the CA-60 was less an aircraft and more a flying cathedral of wood, canvas, and dreams. Despite its awe-inspiring presence, the CA-60's flight career was tragically brief. It lifted off for just a few seconds before crashing into Lake Maggiore on its maiden voyage. The wreck signaled the end of the project, but not the spirit behind it. Today, the Caproni CA-60 endures as a symbol of early aviation's fearless imagination, a daring, if ill-fated, attempt to leap far ahead of its time. The Delacner HZ-1 Aerocycle was a daring leap into the future of personal aviation, a one-man flying platform envisioned for battlefield agility and rapid deployment. Designed in the 1950s with the US Army in mind, the HZ-1 offered an unorthodox solution a soldier standing atop a platform powered by contra-rotating rotors, controlled not with sticks or buttons, but through intuitive body balance, much like riding a unicycle in the sky. Although it showed early promise in test flights, the aerocycle quickly revealed its flaws. The low-slung rotors stirred up dangerous debris and posed serious risks of rotor collision, making stability a constant threat. While the concept was ahead of its time, safety concerns ultimately grounded the project. Today, the HC-1 lives on as a bold but flawed footnote in aviation history, a vivid reminder of just how far inventors were willing to push the boundaries of flight. The Hughes H for Hercules, famously dubbed the Spruce Goose, is a towering icon of ambition and innovation in aviation history. Built almost entirely from laminated birch to circumvent wartime metal restrictions, this massive flying boat was the brainchild of Howard Hughes an audacious answer to the logistical demands of World War II. Spanning a record-breaking wingspan, it was conceived to transport troops and cargo across oceans, but its true test came in 1947 with a single, short flight of just one mile. 
Though it never entered production or active service, the H for Hercules remains a monument to bold vision and unrelenting engineering spirit. Its immense proportions, unorthodox materials, and mythic status have cemented it as a symbol of both triumph and controversy. Today, it stands preserved as a testament to the extraordinary risks and imagination that fueled early aerospace innovation. The Nord 500 was a bold and forward-thinking French aircraft prototype from the 1950s that flirted with redefining tactical air combat. Conceived by Nord Aviation, this compact attack aircraft featured an unconventional design, including a nose-mounted jet engine and sleek elliptical wings engineered for superior agility at low altitudes. It was envisioned as a nimble, high-speed platform for close air support and rapid interception missions perfect for the fast-changing demands of Cold War-era warfare. Despite its promising concept and groundbreaking design, the Nord 500 faced hurdles including technical limitations, budget constraints, and evolving military strategies. Only a few prototypes ever took shape before the project was shelved. Yet, the aircraft remains a fascinating, what if, in aviation history, a symbol of French aeronautical innovation during a time of experimental ambition and daring ideas. The Grumman X-29 was a radical leap into the future of flight, pushing the limits of aerodynamic design in the 1980s. Sporting an unmistakable forward-swept wing and canard layout, it challenged conventional wisdom with a configuration that demanded both innovation and precision. Built from cutting-edge composite materials, the X-29 defied the natural instability of its shape by relying on an advanced digital fly-by-wire system, allowing it to execute agile, high-angle maneuvers with unprecedented control. Though never intended for combat, the X-29 served as a flying laboratory, generating vital data on flight control, structural dynamics, and instability management that would shape future generations of aircraft. While it never saw mass production due to its complexity and limited mission scope, the X-29 remains a landmark in experimental aviation, its daring design and technical achievements continuing to inspire the next wave of aerospace engineering. The Lockheed Martin P-791 is a bold fusion of lighter-than-air and aerodynamic innovation, created to explore the future of cargo transport and surveillance. This hybrid airship defies convention by combining helium lift with aerodynamic thrust, allowing it to hover, cruise, and maneuver with precision. Its distinct triple-hull design and advanced composite materials offer exceptional fuel efficiency, low-speed stability, and vertical takeoff capabilities all while supporting substantial payloads. Originally developed as an experimental platform, the P-791 serves as a powerful proof of concept for next-generation heavy-lift solutions. Whether navigating remote environments or transporting goods to areas with limited infrastructure, its versatility and low environmental impact make it a strong contender for both commercial and military roles. With its blend of futuristic design and practical engineering, the P-791 points toward a new era of airborne mobility. The NASA M2F1, affectionately dubbed the flying bathtub, was a daring leap into uncharted aerodynamic territory. Crafted from plywood and steel tubing, this humble-looking glider was NASA's first lifting body, a radical design without wings that demonstrated how a spacecraft could maneuver and land using only its fuselage to generate lift. First flown in 1963, the M2F1 marked the beginning of a revolutionary chapter in aerospace research focused on atmospheric re-entry and glide landings. Though it never carried an engine, the M2F1S towed test flights were critical in shaping the future of crewed spaceflight. It provided invaluable data on lift-to-drag ratios, stability, and handling, laying the groundwork for more advanced lifting body designs and ultimately influencing the space shuttle's development. With its unusual shape and outsized impact, the M2F1 remains a timeless symbol of experimental boldness and the creativity that drives aerospace advancement. The PZL M15 Belfagor stands out as one of the strangest aircraft ever to take to the skies, a jet-powered oddity built not for speed, but for spraying crops. 
Developed in 1970s Poland, it was the first and only agricultural aircraft to rely on jet propulsion, an ambitious attempt to modernize aerial farming. With its large biplane wings, exposed turbine, and cockpit resembling something out of a sci-fi film, the M15 looked more like a movie prop than a workhorse of the fields. Despite its futuristic appearance, Belfagor struggled in the real world. Its turbojet engine consumed far too much fuel for farm operations, while the noise and awkward handling proved ill-suited for the precision and efficiency required in agriculture. Only a limited number were built before the program was shelved. Still, the M15 remains a compelling reminder of Cold War innovation where the quest to do things differently sometimes led to aviation's most unforgettable misfits. The Goodyear Inflataplane G-33 was a groundbreaking yet impractical concept designed to revolutionize wartime rescue operations. The idea was simple yet ambitious, a fully inflatable aircraft that could be deflated, packed into a compact space, and easily transported via truck or jeep. Once deployed behind enemy lines, the plane could be quickly inflated, ready for emergency extractions. However, despite its innovative premise, the Inflataplane was hindered by significant performance drawbacks. With a top speed of only 55 miles per hour, it proved too slow to be effective in the fast-paced and high-stakes world of military rescues. Ultimately, the project never progressed beyond the experimental stage, but it remains a fascinating symbol of Cold War ingenuity, demonstrating the lengths to which engineers were willing to go to tackle the unique challenges of military aviation. A ring-wing plane represents a bold leap in aircraft design, featuring a circular or closed-loop wing that promises to enhance aerodynamics, stability, and fuel efficiency. Unlike traditional aircraft with distinct wings, the continuous ring-wing reduces drag, optimizes lift distribution, and offers superior maneuverability. This innovative design holds the potential to revolutionize commercial aviation, military jets, and UAVs by providing improved flight control, lower fuel consumption, and quieter operation. Moreover, the ring-wing configuration could support vertical takeoff and landing VTOL, positioning it as a game-changer for urban air mobility and next-generation transport solutions. However, the development of this technology faces challenges related to structural feasibility, material limitations, and advanced control systems. If successfully realized, ring-wing planes could significantly enhance the efficiency, sustainability, and versatility of air travel, paving the way for a new era in aviation technology. The Convair Model 49 was a bold experimental jet-powered bomber developed in the late 1940s, showcasing a tailless delta-wing design aimed at enhancing speed and maneuverability compared to conventional bombers. Powered by twin engines mounted at the rear to reduce drag, the Model 49 represented a forward-thinking approach to aircraft design. However, despite its innovative features, the project never progressed beyond the prototype phase due to technical difficulties and escalating costs. Though ultimately cancelled, the Convair Model 49 had a lasting impact on future aircraft designs. Its radical concept influenced the development of the Northrop YB-49 flying wing and other advanced military jets, serving as a testament to the post-war era's spirit of experimentation and innovation in aviation. The SkyDrive SD-05 is an advanced electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL, flying car poised to redefine urban air mobility. Developed by SkyDrive Incorporated, this sleek, two-seater vehicle is powered by multiple electric rotors that ensure a stable, safe, and emission-free flight experience. With a cruising speed of 100 km per hour, 62 miles per hour, and a range of 10 km, 6.2 miles, the SD-05 is designed for short-distance travel, offering a practical solution for bypassing traffic congestion. Set to make its debut at the 2025 Osaka Expo, the SD-05's compact design enables takeoff and landing in tight urban spaces, making it a perfect candidate for air taxis and personal transportation. As advancements in battery technology, autonomous flight systems, 
and air traffic management continue, the SkyDrive SD-05 represents a significant step toward a future where flying cars seamlessly integrate into the fabric of modern cities. The Boeing Pelican Ultra was an ambitious conceptual cargo aircraft designed in the early 2000s by Boeing Phantom Works. This ground-effect aircraft, known as a ground-effect vehicle, or acroplane, was conceived to fly just above the water's surface, utilizing the wing-ground effect to boost lift and improve fuel efficiency. With a massive wingspan of 500 feet 152 meters, and the ability to carry up to 1,400 tons of cargo nearly 10 times the capacity of a C-5 Galaxy the Pelican Ultra was designed to be a revolutionary force in military logistics and heavy cargo transport. The aircraft could cruise at speeds of 300 miles per hour .4 Mach, at low altitudes over water, or ascend to 20,000 feet for transcontinental missions. Despite its groundbreaking design and potential to transform global cargo movement, the project was ultimately shelved due to high operational costs, technical challenges, and shifting priorities. Nevertheless, the Boeing Pelican Ultra stands as one of the most ambitious and visionary aircraft concepts in aviation history, 